Good on, might. We got our true blue fair dinkum event coming here. Uh, sorry, I had to bring out a little bit of the inner Australian man there. But anyway, we do have the brand new true blue castle event that has come to DML. And uh, disappointingly, it is a Chinese themed event, not an Australian one. But anyway, this is of course a sort of regular castle event. It's going to last 10 days, so a little over a week. But in this event, we have the old Azure Dragon as a possible dragon reward at level 6. But the main reward for this event is, of course, the Ludwan Dragon, who is a pretty little epic guy with water, light, and metal. And so to get him, you're going to have to have opened every single chest up in this event. But along with that, we've also got season points, we've got gems, and a few other things. So we will be jumping straight into this. Don't forget that we also have Whale Mark. We just have relics of breeding, which I'm going to take very quickly. We've also got some stepping stones, which are great. Raincoat breeding token, which is useful for anyone that needs it. And premium sigil chests, basically. But I just wanted to go through the Walmart stuff very quickly. We've also got Dragon of the Month, which I'll be doing a uh, video on tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. But anyway, let's jump straight into this castle event. Not that it should be much different from what we're used to but let's take a look see okay i hate parties i'm afraid of dragons and i'm afraid of eliza what exactly am i doing here i second that question actually mother would kill over if she saw me cavorting with a bunch of do-gooders like you this is an incredible opportunity my young friends for battle for research and maybe even for trader viking relations Look everyone, a baby green Ludwan dragons come to be our party chaperone. Let's all have a blast, right, little one? Green Ludwan? He looked blue to me. What? Heresy. Ah, a moon rabbit's dragon. They're quite loyal to the Changi divine dragon. I wonder if it's here to meet its divine friend post-party. Our little green buddy looks like it's raring for a battle. What better way to start a celebration, right? Strangely enough, we agree. Come, Aya, let's begin the festivities with a pulse-pounding battle. Oh, please, can you just kiss already? I know that Eliza is um, not noticing, but come on, Eliza, you need to do it. Uh, did I say Eliza? I meant Aya. I know Aya's ignoring you, Eliza, but you've got to push through. Thanks for a great first battle, everyone. I knew you'd have fun if you came along, Eliza. I'll admit, that got me into a festive mood. <laughs> Lead the way, dragon girl. I trust your party instincts. Rule one, always let the woman go first. That way, they'll always be ahead of you. Um, hey, Aya, can I battle you next? Ha, even the puppy wants to play. Don't tell me we're going to have more, basically, uh, pyramiding is in uh, jealousy brewing in this event once again. When do we not have jealousy brewing between Ned and Eliza? It's just a constant, constant struggle. And I didn't mean to click that, by the way. But you'll see that, like all castle events, we've got a few different pathways that we can go down. And it looks like this right-hand side path is much, much cheaper than that left-hand side one. Just taking a quick look. And we can obviously do the battles in this event. At least on these early stages, because of course the further in we get, the fewer elements that we'll be able to use. So I'm curious to see what elements are going to be allowed on the final stages of this event. But our first chest opened has a singular piece of lewd one, so we're going to have to go the long way anyway. Chest number two, there is our key. A fine job, we found the pass in the next room of the castle. Come, I'm sure there's excitement on every floor. I can't wait to examine the different sorts of dragons that have gathered here. Very cool. Look at the boxes and jars piled up. Are we sure this is a party palace? It's more like a storehouse. Every party palace needs a storehouse, Ned. Where else would they keep their party hats and noisemakers? Good point. And, oh my goodness, there are lots of flowers. Many flowers. Is this a new map? Am I going insane or is this actually a brand new map? It looks like it to me. Am I going crazy? This looks like a brand new map to me. Weird, we don't get those very often in DML. But either way, we've got what looks to be quite a long set of pathways here. Like, that is a lot of chests, a lot of different pathways to go down. 
But we don't know which way is the cheapest yet. I do not have the maps open. You know, how we usually do it, where we upload the event maps into here for the castle events and things like that. We don't have the maps yet, so we can't calculate the cheapest pathways, but you can always keep updated and maybe people have some information early in our Discord server to update you on what the cheapest paths are so far. But we also need to go and collect our event currency for this event. So any new players, it's quite simple. We just got to do these quests at the bottom. And for any existing players that have done the divine event castles and things like that, it's exactly the same as it always is. So we've got to collect creatures. These silly little flying flowers, we need to remove them from the sky. We also have collecting gold, which is pretty self-explanatory. Just collect gold from your habitats. I'd normally collect it with my gold vault. And then collecting food, I would highly suggest that you put six hour food in. But you can also use the one hour squarey berry, I um, mean the spring cherries. But I mainly use squarey berries to keep up every six hours. However, as there is a reset in under an hour, I'm actually going to throw in... Can you stop moving, Screet? I'm going to throw in some spring cherries and then I'll come back in an hour, collect those, and then I'll start putting in my six hour food timers. And that should do me pretty well. So along with that, we do of course also have the more annoying quest, which is the breeding quest. And generally speaking, it is better in the early levels to go with War Dragon because that keeps you at the exact amount of time that you need to come back to the game. Same as you would with the six hour food. And it does give you all of the points early on. But again, if the event is an event where the amount of currency that we can collect goes up, then we'll have to swap which breeding combination we use. And again, that's all of the guides in that are in our D Discord server in the event guides channel. So you can check those out if you want to. You don't have to, but it is in there and it is quite useful, especially for newer players that aren't used to these events. Feeding dragons, of course, will hatch our level one dragon. Feed that bad boy up. Look at that big smoke dragon. Immediately sell him. Say goodbye, never to be seen again. And then finally, we've got winning battles, which is also pretty self-explanatory. The... Thing to note is that you can also do arena battles and they will count towards your points for this so if you don't have a lot of portal energy so you haven't upgraded your portal very much because you're a silly goose you can do some arena fights and get the event currency from that but overall that's how you can do every single quest in this event generally speaking you could probably get all of them done in about five minutes especially if you've got vip auto win tickets to use but it shouldn't take you more than say five minutes especially at the early stages it's on only towards the end stages where it might take just over oh up to 10 minutes i would say i've done it before where i've cleared out full resets with two minutes only because i woke up two minutes before a reset so it is doable trust me it is definitely doable <laughs> uh past me knows very well but anyway, now that we've collected a bit more currency, we can progress onto this terracotta dragon. Let's say hello. Oh, it's a sturdy terracotta dragon. No doubt here to help with heavy lifting. Let's give this beast a break, shall we? I'll try helping it battle against you, Aya. I mean, maybe I'll learn something. <sighs> Neddy is just jealous. His little girlfriend likes battling me better. <laughs> ah, she sort of dunked on herself calling her his girlfriend when she wishes it was her. That was terrifying. A fine job, my boy. Pay no heed to the naysayers. Gugh. Gugh. Angry noises. All right, I'm not 100% sure what the cheapest path's going to be here, but it does look like this one's quite cheap on the left-hand side, so I'm dying to try this one. But generally, it is a better idea to... Uh, go through and uh, pick the paths that have more connecting chests but not always the best option but I'm just gonna go with this one for now we got another singular piece of lewd one and once again we will look for the key but remember that the keys are random for everyone so just because I find a key in a certain place does not mean that you're gonna find it there and uh, 
I guess that is the most common question that ever gets asked in this event. Where's the key? Where's the key? Where's the key, Quacks? It's, it's random. Please don't ask me where the key is because it's random. I've been saying the same thing for years. It will never change because they never change how their castle event formula truly works. But that's, it is important to get the key as quickly as possible, which is why we normally upload the guides. But because it is random, that's why you've got to try and pick out the cheapest paths first so that then you have the highest chance with the lowest amount of currency of getting the key, if you know what I mean. But that is the true blue castle event with uh, all the possible rewards and such. It's mainly the gems. Like getting 55 gems out of this event is actually not too... Actually, it's more than that. It's 60, isn't it? Including level one. That's really not too bad. You know, 60 gems, it's okay. It's better than a lot of events have been. So uh, I will take it. We do also, of course, have a new... Dragon Master Pass, and in this Dragon Master Pass, we have Mr. Honeycomb. And uh, the only thing is, obviously, he is pay only to get him because he's a legendary plant and earth dragon. But aside from that, the main things that we want to get out of our Dragon Master Passes, especially if I'm not going to purchase premium, which I'm not, is going to be the premium sigil chest, the five extra dem relics, if we can get up to there. I didn't even bother to get up to there last season, but another 31 days of season pass grinding to do, which um, should be as boring as usual. But aside from that, the only other things to really take note of are any breeding blitz events, which right now we have the full dragon breeding blitz event, and to be able to breed the full dragon, we'd need the sun, which is the dragon of the month, and lewd one. Which, um, is a, a big ask, considering you need to get Ludwan and the Sun in less than 10 days, and breed full in less than 10 days. So, realistically, if you want to try and breed for the Sun, and then in turn the full dragon, you're gonna need two breeding dens. You're gonna need an extra den, otherwise I can't see a way how you can possibly do the breeding that you need for the castle event, and also breed for the dragon of the month. So it is kind of kind of icky at the moment. It's like there's not really a good time to breed for him. But, you know, I did go through some of the best combinations the other day, but I'll have a dedicated breeding guide out soon, like I always do. But for now, your main focus should probably be on finishing off the castle event if you want that new Ludwine dragon. So remember, dragon of the month, you got a whole month to breed it. You don't have a whole month for Ludwine. But... I guess keep all of that in mind. Also, don't forget that we've got Dungeon, where we've still got our Underlord Dragon to get our hands on. It said that there was going to be the Underlord Dragon in the shop next week, but I'm not sure if I trust it yet. Yes, I'm very negative like that. But, you know, make sure you're doing your dungeon grinding, even if you're not being super, super optimal with it, like I'm usually not. I just usually go for... As long as I can, I try and get as much use out of Apollo as I can, because he gives me times three bonus. But, realistically, if I wanted to super, super sweat out, I would use a lot lower level dragons and not try and KO as many. But, if you're just doing it, sort of, you're still logging in to do your dungeon stuff, but you're not super grinding it, just make sure you're logging in and doing it as often as you can. But, anyway. For now, I am going to skedaddle. Things to do, food to eat. I was going to say places to be, I actually don't have anywhere to be. But I do wish you the best of luck with picking out those uh, keys from those chests. If you do need any other advice, of course, join us in the Discord server. And I'm sure anyone can help you out. But I wish you the best. And um, I guess I will see you soon, maybe. Maybe I will.